Kachad the second largest town of Assam is the headquarter of district Kachar. It is home to many renowned higher educational institutions like Assam University, National Institute of Technology, Sucha Medical College and Sucha Polytechnic and many more. The literacy rate of Silcha stands at 90.93% which is higher than the national average literacy rate. 35% of the Silcha population is engaged in main or marginal work. Silcha is the hometown of some eminent scholars from the past few decades. We have interviewed a few distinguished personalities from the educational background to know more about the current scenario of education in the valley. We interviewed Mr. Kamalandu Bhattacharjji, retired professor of Guru Kiran College Silch and ex-member of the parliament. To my thinking, is the social pressure, family pressure and such pressures which compel them to go out. There is a very widespread, what should I say, widespread uh, knowledge of all the guardians and other people that uh, this place is not sufficient with regard to educational inputs. They, they have to produce, because most of the teachers of the valley, they are not themselves aware how to teach them what institutions should come up. More and more technical institutions should come up, but the time is there, this also will drain out and there will be no demand for anybody. Most important thing is contentment. So they are much beyond it. Guardians pressurize, they believe in marks, students, even if in unit test a student doesn't get good marks, guardian will be severe on him or her and ask questions that I, I put you into the tuitions of many teachers, but what is the result? So I call those guardians Marxist. For them, knowledge has no meaning. Exam marks. What are, what, are, what are the marks? That is the most important thing. Bringing experts in the field of this professional education, we shall have to first check up what is our mindset. It depends, everything depends on the mindset. Before we prepare them, prepare the guardians, the students, the inhabitants of this district, I think it will be too premature a step to take. Everybody is from, student will come becoming an engineer, next day he will join uh, some department or some office, and next day he will start printing money. Not I don't say mint, mint is an obsolete word. His words had surely triggered the need for the presence of professional courses for the present youth, as they thrive to do something unique in their lives, apart from the mainstream courses. It was a matter of honor for us to have got the chance of interviewing Mr. Biswatash Althari, head of the department, Bengali Department of Assam University and also a prominent cultural personality. medical entrance national level. তাদের ক্ষেত্রে অসুবিধা হয় কি যে মেডিকেল এন্ট্রেন্সের জন্য ওরা কোনো কোচিং এর জায়গা নেই একেবারে নেই বলবো না দুটো আছে আমি নামে নিচ্ছি না এই মুহূর্তে কিন্তু ওরা যেটা বলেন যে বাইরের থেকে এক্সপার্টস আনাবেন বিভিন্ন সাবজেক্টে তা ওটা সম্পূর্ণটা ওরা করেন না একজন দুজন আসেন যারা আসেন তারা হয়তো কোনো জায়গায় জায়গা পাচ্ছেন না এদেরকে নিয়ে এলো কম টাকায় যেটা ব্যাপার ওদের ফলে আমাদের এখানে মেডিকেল এন্ট্রেন্সে আমাদের এখানে ছেলেমেয়েদের যথেষ্ট পটেনশিয়ালিটি আজকের ছেলেমেয়েরা আমাদের ছেলেমেয়েরা যাতে মেডিকেল এন্ট্রেন্সে একটা ভালো কোচিং পায় এমনকি ইঞ্জিনিয়ারিংয়ে একটা ভালো কোচিং পায় এরকম ন্যাশনাল লেভেলের কোচিং ইনস্টিটিউট যদি আসে তাহলে খুব ভালো হবে আরেকটা হচ্ছে ইউনিভার্সিটির জন্য এখানে প্লেসমেন্ট হয় মানে বিভিন্ন কোম্পানি থেকে আসে আমাদের এম বিএতে আমাদের মাস কমিউনিকেশানে কিন্তু এটা কিন্তু সাফিসিয়েন্ট নয় এখন প্রত্যেকের বাবা মার তো প্রচুর কাঁড়ি কাঁড়ি টাকা নেই যে ফ্লাইটে গৌহাটি গিয়ে হোটেলে থেকে তার ছেলে বা মেয়েকে নিয়ে ইন্টার এন্ট্রান্স দেবেন এই জায়গায় আমি তোমাদের মাধ্যমে এই প্রজেক্টে এটা বলতে চাইছি শিলচরের নাগরিক হিসাবে এবং শিক্ষা জগতের একজন লোক হিসেবে যে ন্যাশনাল লেভেলের এন্ট্রান্স এমএসসির জেএনইউ 
সত্যেন্দ্র বোস সায়েন্স ইনস্টিটিউট হায়দ্রাবাদ ইউনিভার্সিটি এলাহাবাদ ইউনিভার্সিটি এগুলোর এন্ট্রেন্স যদি গৌহাটি হতে পারে কেন শিলচর নয় গৌহাটিতে থাকুক কিন্তু শিলচরও হোক আমাদের ছেলেমেয়েরা এখানে এন্ট্রেন্স দিক অনেস্টলি এন্ট্রেন্স দিক তাহলে কারণ অনেক বাড়ি থেকে নিয়ে যেতে পারেন না বাবা মা ফলে আমি বলবো এক ন্যাশনাল লেভেলের ভালো ভালো ইনস্টিটিউট আসুক তারা মার্কেট সার্ভে করে দেখুক এটা অসাধারণ পটেন্সিয়াল একটা মাটি কারণ ভারতবর্ষের এমন কোনো ব্যাংক নেই যেটা শিলচরে নেই বা বরাক ভ্যালিতে নেই তাহলে ব্যাংকিং সেক্টর নিশ্চয়ই ফিল্ড সার্ভি করে এদের ফিল্ড সার্ভে করে এসেছিলো একটা ব্যাংকে উঠে যায়নি বরং আরও ব্রাঞ্চ বাড়াচ্ছে হোক ভালো কথা তাহলে আমাদের ছেলে মেয়েদের ভবিষ্যতের কথা ভেবে ন্যাশনাল লেভেলের হায়ার ইনস্টিটিউট আসুক এখানে অসা প্রাইভেট ইনস্টিটিউটও আসুক যারা রিকগনাইজড এবং মেডিকেল এবং ইঞ্জিনিয়ারিং তা প্রিন্টিং টেকনোলজি তারপরে আর্টি আর্কিওলজি আর্কিটেক্ট এবং হোটেল ম্যানেজমেন্টের বড় বড় ইনস্টিটিউট এলে আমাদের ছেলে মেয়েরা সোনা ফলাবে এটা আমার বিশ্বাস It is clear from his words that even though the city has got some national level colleges, yet there is a need for more colleges with professional courses. This certainly signifies that our city is facing the insufficiency of the professional courses which ultimately results for the youth opting for other cities, as it offers them the scope for learning their choice of subjects. Speaking of youth and higher studies, it was also very important to know about the students of the higher secondary level. Hence to gather information about their thinking we went on to interview Mrs. Sudipta Bhattacharji, lecturer, Department of Chemistry, Ramanujgupta Junior College. If you compare a small city with a big one, obviously in big cities facilities uh, scopes will be better than a smaller one. Okay, uh, That doesn't mean uh, in shelter there is no such a great institution. Um, uh, actually uh, there may be less number of institution. Hmm, as it is not a metropolitan city and for the same reason professional courses will be will uh, not sufficient huh? so in our town so that may be the reason it is true to some extent as i have already told you you cannot compare our city with a metropolitan city it is developing day by day and we hope uh, one day will come when uh, there will be lots of opportunity there will be lots of a great institution and obviously job op- uh, job opportunities will be more through her words Again, it is specific that, from the very initial stage, the students prepare themselves to study outside their hometown and search for a better scope and learning. Hence, the need for sufficient professional courses in the city has certainly become the burning need of the hour for the student. Apart from the problems faced by the students, there are certain issues which the teachers are also affected by. And know those issues, went to interview Dr. D. Bajit Day, Hot History Department. SK Roy College and also the founder of the second Kala to be dot at college. Not the case of Silcher actually. If you see the talented person, this is called the brain drain. Brain drain is a concept that you see in Bangladesh. I am telling with one example. One boy is from Silet. First he himself, he invented pilotless helicopter. But when he presented his project to the government of Bangladesh, they simply refused it. It's not, this is not, it. he is doing some drama. It's not possible for a boy from a sealet to invent such a pilotless helicopter. But somehow this message reached to USA that is in America. So from USA that is the Pentagon, they informed all these data whether it is true or not. And strangely within a week they picked this boy from Bangladesh and took him to America that is in Pentagon. He started his research there and from there he is the first person that invented the pilotless helicopter. Now it is patented to US. So this is what is happening here. Talent is here in Silchar or in Borag Valley. Talent is here. But what we have to do, we have to utilize this talent in this particular field. Everybody is now want to engage in IT sector or in management sectors. No one is thinking that in Borag Valley so many scopes are there. Our all professional colleges For example, the B.A. colleges, these are professional colleges for producing teachers. Our other, jo, these types of institutions are there. So many issues there, private also some are there. Scope is there, but whatever this, we have to change our views. We have to change our views. If you don't want to settle here, if you don't be entrepreneur, then it is very difficult for Barak Valley people to survive. It is pretty much assured that if the professional courses are introduced in this land, 
both the students and the teachers will be benefited from it. Even though people say there is scope in science and commerce, the other scopes are somewhat going marginalized and subsided here because of the lack of the courses. Even the students are leaving their hometown in search of better options and scope of study.